I trained to use when I learned in class. Struck me in defensively. Well, myself, my fellow man, and never to be abusive or offensive. Do it on your own. 
Right? Does it make sense? Yes, sir. Okay, the first thing is knowledge. Say knowledge. knowledge. Second thing is accuracy. accuracy. And then intensity. Good. Chin down in the toes, come back to five. And look like I'm gonna make it tight. And then your left leg is out, right foot is in tight, you're reaching towards your foot. And stretch out as far as you can with both hands. Make some breath. Exhale. Come back from five. Five, four. Uh, let's try that again. I should hear everybody coming. Come back from five. Five, four, three, four. Switch. Yeah. 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 And come back to the five. And then everyone stand right back up. And first, let me see how amazing some of your basic punching skills are. Everyone neutral stand. Siche! And score. So you turn your hands all the way back like your wrist. And basic punches, one on each count. Ready? Go! Just freeze one punch. Go! Basic punches.
Reach to the right. Two. And now back to the right side. Brown house kick. So turn the bottom split. And now point to me and then point to those that you throw the kick. Go. Go. Right way to the side. Go. Go. And then other side. Turn the right toes. Brown house kick. The left leg directly towards windows. Go. Go. Where's the guard? Go. Go. And swishes. White belt. Stop down with you. Stay down. Stop down with you. And then everybody else. Six down kick. Hands are up by your cheeks. Ready? One. The street. Two. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Six. Yeah. And it's time for a cut position. Yeah. And doing it. Hands up. Ready? One. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Six. And yellow belt, same side, drop down on knee. And then orange belt, not as quick down base. Guards up, ready. And ready. And start off with the jab. Ready? One, two, ready. One, two, ready. Yeah, cross. One, two, ready. One, two, ready. Front kick. One, two, ready. One, two, ready. And side kicks. One, two, ready. One, two, and set. And we jump right back up for yes, sir. Set. Push up position. Yeah. Next out of five, black belt quality push up. This is who's in the And Joshua, ready? Go! See you team, perfect push up. Go! 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 Go!
So white box, you're going to think you put it in the detector. He's going to take you through inward, outward, upward, downward box, just again a couple of times, just to detail it. And Andrew wants to remind them that in separate chambers, so there's one going to pop. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yes, sir? Right? And then after you do that a handful of times, you can get them into your appreciation point, right? And you probably have them for like 20 days. And first, let's run through again. Uh, six count kicks, right? Keep in mind with your kicks, all your, all your kicks have to be at least two weeks, right? And I have to see good form. If you guys are throwing your front kicks and they look like this, and it's good form, how about this for my side? Yeah. 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 Right? Yeah. And one of the best ways I can know if I have a good form is to look where you're supposed to. That's your kicks, right? If I'm looking out the window and I'm thinking, I think you're doing a terrible job, and I won't even know. I always want to keep my eyes right on my kick. Make sense, Travis? All right, so let's see it again. Hands up on your cheeks. And we're going to start off with six top kicks. So you're going to start like first thing down one. One. And then left like two. And now, as you're reaching your shoulders apart, no. as you go to your yeah. side kicks, turn no. your one foot, yeah. your knee comes yeah. in front of your body, yeah. pull your toes away, your side kicks, pull your toes back. Three. So the heel is to pull this thing out. That's better, guys. Yeah. Right? And then left leg, four. And then, left, like, four. And then roundhouse kick, I point my knees, I point my toes on the kick. Five. So everybody watch it. This is a tuck for a side kick. This is a tuck for a round up. Point my knee and then point my toes when I throw the kick. Right? Do it again. Five. That's the side kick. You're not going to side kick. Point your knee. Point your toes. Closer. Five. Back to the round up. Go. And then six. Again, point your knee. It should point right in the mirrors. It doesn't come in front of your body for a round up. Come yeah. straight up and then point your way to Josh, get ready to kick it, right? And again, six towards the mirrors, that's yeah. better now. Go. And get the yeah. kick. Yeah. Turn and kick. Six. Right? And turn your bottom foot. Do it again. Six. Go. Yeah. And then remember you step back right position. Now. Right? So go. as soon as you go. count six, it should be from to a kick. And then see ya, you go right back to position strong. Go. So let's try again. Hands up by your cheeks. And front back starts it up. Ready? Yeah. One. Uh, just breathe. Two. Side kick. Three. Pull your toes back. Pull your toes back. Pull the side kick. Four. Roundhouse kicks. Five. And then six. And do it again. Front kick starts it off. Ready? One. Two. Side kick. Three. Four. Roundhouse kicks five. Yeah. And we're going to turn the bottom foot six. Yeah. And it's not back position. And go. Right? And go. So the only person I see snapping back position is Matt. You are over to You have to make sure you snap back position. Yeah. And go. I snap back position. Go. That's part go. of it. Yeah. Yeah. One more. Right? So let's do it again. Ready? Position. And go. Hands up for your cheeks. Right, and start up on the kicks. Ready? Five. Yeah. Two, side yeah. kicks, three, yeah. four, yeah. 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 and then round house, there's five, six, again, you can do that position, only two out of five that time, you can't drop, everybody should be doing it, I just did it very hard, I should have been in the details of you guys, ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, go, when you go to position, you should be silent. Or should I hear no? I should hear no, but I only heard go. one and three. Right? So you I want to check wrong. I want the one to make sure it's wrong. Let's see it again. Sushay! Hands up. Ready? One. Go. Two. Go. Three. Go. Four. Five. Six. Go. And last one, last one. Right. So relax. Right. Remember also when you came with the first thing you started off before you kick. No. All right. Well, that's as you're kicking. First thing you always do on every kick. Lift it up and do what? Now we're doing bend your knee. Right. What we do like that? Don't put it to the hard for me. Throw the kick. Right. All right. One last time. Then we have to move on. We're gonna have to have another one. Right. 
right? You guys see that shark, right? Guys, a lot of a very good. It's a lot of no slot, right? Show it to me again. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
your seat. Relaxing, I can't find that. So I'm going to share with you guys what we would call the secret of stratospheric success. Do you guys want to know the secret of all kinds of success? Yeah. Right? Now, of course, success is when you set out to do something and you're able to do it. So that could be if you decide you're going to be a black belt. And you know what? You accomplish your black belt. That means you're successful. Maybe it's going to get straight into school. Maybe that it's going to be that you have a model or a project at home that you're working on and you want to finish your project. And so you become successful doing that as well. Right? Or that someday you want to open up your own store of some sort and you end up being able to do that. That means you're a success. Right? And five of the keys to making that happen. The first one is the law of value. Many people think that really successful people are what they call go getters, meaning they always, they're always putting a lot of energy in, they're making things happen. But I'm going to tell you that the most successful people are go givers, right? They're people that add a lot of value to people's lives. Not to their own lives, they do add a value to their own lives, but they're focused on giving more value than they're taking back, which is what the law of value is. Is that I give more value than what I receive, right? So, what are some ways that you can add value? That you can make somebody's life better, let's say at home. What would be ways you can add value at home? What do you think? Joseph, Jonah? Okay, good, right? Helping out around the house and cleaning up. That's all I'm What else could be ways you can add value at home? Ruthie? All right, good. Maybe it helps your parents clean up some money so they have some money to work around, right? I know I live in the country. There's always money in my house. Hi, hi. Yeah, go ahead, Grant. One more. Um, I saw him one, right? Being able to take care of that. How about if mom and dad ask you to do something you do the very first time you're out? Is that a way to add value? Yeah, yeah. Right? You clean up your own dinner table dishes. Would well, that be a good way to add value? Yeah, yeah. Right? You make sure you put your very clothes where they want. Could that add value? Yeah, yeah. Right? Simply doing the things you need to be doing. How about in school? How would you add value to school, to classroom and school? Uh, Anthony? Okay, good one. Doing your work. How else do we add value in school? Ruki? Okay, good. Right, being a really good student and focusing and working hard, that's one of the best ways, right? You know, uh, Catholic. Okay, good. Right, bringing back some work that your teacher may ask you to have done, right? How about in the karate school? What are some ways that we can add value in the karate school? Andrew? Right? Knowing what you're being told, right? Certainly, that's an excellent way. That goes to kind of no matter where you're at. Focusing. Right? Focusing in the classroom. Definitely a good one. If I'm messing around in class, my teacher's talking to me, and I'm screwing around, I'm spinning around, I'm falling over, am I adding value or taking value away? <laughs> taking value away for sure, right? Give me another one. What could be another way to add value to your class? What do you think, Grant? Okay, good. Maybe you help others. Like if somebody's having a hard time and asks you for help, you can help them out, right? And what about if you just like always add the yes sirs every time an instructor asks a question? Is that a good way to add that? Yes, sir. Right. How about working your absolute hardest at every given moment? Could that add value? Yes, sir. Right. How about being the best martial artist you could be? Could that add value? Yes, sir. One hundred percent. Right. These are all ways to add value. We want to try and teach more about how we can add value than what we're getting from you, right? And the more we can focus on doing that, the more successful we're going to be. Does this make sense, everyone? Yes, right, So again, the law of value is give more value than what you take. Right? Everyone, relax. Sit. Body and proud. As a dedicated student, the martial arts. I, 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 I will live on principles like that. Modesty. Courtesy. Integrity. Self-control. Perseverance. And downloadable spirit. What is the goal? Neutral stand. Sushi. Set. Courtesy. Out. Impact martial arts. Awesome. Nice job. Mr. Graham, you're all set to get out here. Mr. Rihan. Joshua. Bye, Zoom team. Mr. Aditya.